Tracy Gary used to be high in a chopper doing traffic reports for morning TV and radio in Detroit. And you can see still flooded out just a couple blocks away. This self-described energizer bunny used to multitask with the best of them. But she says that all came to a screeching halt when she got saline breast implants. When did you first get your breast implants? October 1998. When Tracy first started dating her husband more than 20 years ago, she was super skinny, only 100 pounds. I just wanted to look proportioned. I looked like a little stick, like a little boy. I felt like a little boy. But when she got the implant, she says she immediately started having problems, weight gain, and severe depression. When you say depression, like what? What kind of thoughts did you have? Oh, suicidal thoughts all the time, all the time, and it got so bad towards the end. Tracy's first set of implants ruptured in 2010, and she had a second set put in with saline, but she claims her medical problems only got worse. Memory loss, bad reactions to food and medications, and a diagnosis of an autoimmune disease. So how many years did it take before someone said it might be your breast implant? 20 years. There were many stories linking problems to silicone breast implants, but most doctors insisted saline-filled breast implants were safe. I think I ignore it a lot because mine were saline and mine were safe. They're not safe. A nurse who lives in her neighborhood told her she had similar symptoms and believes they were caused by her breast implants. It would take six months before Tracy would look to different sites like this one called Healing Breast Implant Illness. I went to her Facebook page and there was 29,000 women on a Facebook page with all the same symptoms as mine. Tracy started researching doctors who could remove her implants. She decided to go to Costa Rica to Dr. Victor Ursula Herrera. A lower price and how women looked after the surgery is what lured her there. There are several alternatives depending on the size of the breast implant. Takes your breast tissue, your breast fat, mm -hmm. so he'll pull your fat from the side here and here and he uses it to give you volume. She went from a double D to a smaller B cup. Once the implants were removed, her symptoms of chronic fatigue, depression, memory loss, brain fog, even her autoimmune disease cleared up. They were burying the adverse event reports about implants and making women sick. Now she and 39 other women are taking their fight to the FDA during a hearing in Washington at the end of this month. They have made it impossible to sue so this hearing is to try to release that to, so that women have a right to sue. Tracy says this ordeal robbed her of her career. So now this is her crusade to help other women heal. This is what God is telling me I need to go not let other women suffer. It's horrible.